Hi hey guys, in this video I will show you one of the core elements of retrieving data from the backendless database, which is retrieving with a query. The query in the database uh, lingo in, the, in our documentation and APIs, we call it a WHERE clause. And the, the reason for that is because the syntax for the WHERE clause is structured exactly as you would in your SQL queries, specifically anything that goes after the keyword WHERE, which really defines the condition that should be applied to retrieve data. To demonstrate how it works, I'm going to switch to the data section of Backendless Console, and I have imported some sample data in here. It consists of three tables, city, country, and country language. For now, I'm going to work just with a country table. In here, I have 239 records, and these are, uh, I think, all of the countries in the world. The uh, Each individual record uh, consists of various properties such as the name, a link to the capital city, the continent it is in, gross national product, form of government, a, a lot of different properties. Okay. To demonstrate how it works, I will switch to REST console, which is a, a very rich but and very powerful interface for structuring your REST API queries. And in here, uh, the WHERE clause goes right into this field, WHERE. Uh, you can fetch data without a WHERE clause just simply by clicking the GET button and it fetches first, in this case, 100 objects. You can specify the page size. But the point of this video is to demonstrate the actual WHERE clause. So, for instance, if we want to fetch all the countries uh, which are located in Europe, uh, to do this, what we need to do is to specify the continent. You see there's a property called continent. I'm going to switch to data browser and show it to you. So you see there is a, a column called continent and uh, some of the countries are in Europe. So to retrieve all, all the countries, or so the first 100 countries in Europe, what you do is you say continent equals and you put Europe in quotes. Uh, single quotes. And the reason Europe is in quotes is because the data type of the continent column is string. And now this is your WHERE clause. If you click GET, you're going to get all the countries uh, in Europe. So this is the result, uh, and these are going to be the countries in Europe. To know how many countries you got, uh, there is a little trick where right here where it says object ID, if you put the, uh, the word COUNT and click GET, You'll b you get exactly the number of how many countries you got, 46. Now let's play with this and make this uh, where clause uh, richer, just uh, include more conditions. So let's say we want to get all the countries in Europe uh, where the population, let's say, is greater than 10 million. So you can say and population greater than 10 million. Click get. So now we get all the countries just to, f to know how many there are. Do count. And there are 16 countries where the population is uh, greater than 10 million. Let's make it uh, a little bit uh, more complex. And we say that we want to get all the countries from Europe where the population is greater than 10 million and the first uh, letter of the country name is B. So here we can do and name. Now the syntax to narrow it down uh, by a pattern of the name, uh, you use the keyword like, just like you do in SQL put letter B and then the percent sign replaces everything else that would be in the name. So click get and now we get actually just two countries and this is Belgium and Belarus. So as you can see uh, the the where clause could actually be could get quite co complex and in this case we're still querying just one data table there it's possible to uh, to structure your WHERE clause where it references some related uh, tables and uh, this will be a subject of another video. But at this point you uh, should have an idea as to how to structure this WHERE clause. Once you start working with your APIs, in this case it is already a REST API call, but if you were to work with our Android SDK iOS JavaScript.net, then the WHERE clause stays exactly the same. You would put it uh, in you would structure it in your code as a query and all our SDKs the data retrieval API supports the syntax where you can specify the where clause. So hopefully you found this useful. Thank you and as always happy coding.